The activity of setting up traceability and test coverage usually occurs during the test case design phase of the testing process, when you're analyzing user stories and defining test cases for multiple usage scenarios to build up your test coverage. User stories are managed on JIRA and assigned to sprints for development. When the sprint starts, while developers are working on coding, it's a good time for testers to start designing test cases. Let's open the login user story, which is under development. On the right hand side, you can see the test rail cases field, and by clicking it, a new panel opens with the current test cases for this user story. We can see that no test cases have been written so far, as well as a button to add test case. You can do so directly from JIRA by clicking it and selecting the project you want the test case created in. This redirects you to the test rail test case creation page with the user story issue ID already in place in the references field. References is the generic terminology TestRail uses for user stories or requirements, meaning it's a reference that points to an item in an external system, in this case JIRA. We can name this first test successfully log in, and we can deal with the details later. Let's immediately save it by clicking Add Test Case. By doing so, we can see the test case details in read-only mode. Here you can notice that the reference is displayed as a link. By hovering over it, TestRail fetches and displays the user information on JIRA and even allows you to edit it. Note that the fields displayed can be customized when you configure the JIRA integration on TestRail. By clicking the reference, you'll be redirected to JIRA. Now if you open the TestRail Cases panel, you'll see your test case is now covering the user story through the reference on TestRail. And once again, if you click the test case link, you'll navigate to the test case details in TestRail. Now let's open the test cases list page and see our test case there. We can add the references column to the view, and we can also see the user story details straight from this page. While on this page, you can quickly and easily outline a couple of test scenarios and then add the user story reference in bulk. This is the type of workflow from which you can benefit by using a dedicated test management tool. Let's quickly add a couple of test cases to cover our login user story. So starting with fail to log in with invalid email, fail to log in with invalid password, and then fail to log in without credentials. As you can see on the references column, we don't have any associated references yet, but we can select all the test cases to quickly add the reference in bulk. We just select the cases, click Edit, and then Edit Selected. We check the references field, add the reference to our login user story, and save the changes. We can now see we've created traceability between these tests and our user story. If we fast forward to after you and your team have designed all your test cases and set up traceability to your user stories from multiple sprints, we end up with a set of test cases similar to this one. At this point, you may want to check that all of your user stories are covered by test cases, as well as all your test cases are referencing a user story. In order to do so, you can take advantage of the reporting capabilities offered by TestRail by going to the Reports page. For this particular objective, you should use the Cases Coverage for References report. To configure it to track all your user stories, the most important detail is selecting the option The Following References Only and inputting all your user story issue IDs, one per line. So here we have a list of user stories we want to check for test coverage. There are a lot of other options you can use to configure the report, but this should be enough for the goal at hand. So let's generate the report. By opening the report, we can immediately see some charts. The first one tells us we have covered seven references, but we missed three, so this is definitely something we want to act on. On the second graph, we can see that we are aiming to track 10 references. We have 29 test cases with references, but we did not add any references to eight test cases, which is also something we want to take a look at. By scrolling down, the first table shows us the references we are tracking so we can identify which ones aren't being covered by any test cases. If we scroll further down, we can also see the test cases that have no references. 
With this information, you are empowered to act on your test coverage, making sure no requirement goes by untested, and raising confidence in your testing activities.